Hello everyone, this is Indra, working as Assistant Professor in Department of Nutrition and Dietetics at KSR College of Arts and Science for Women. Today we are going to discuss about disease in kidney and dialysis. As we all know, kidneys are bean shaped, sit just above the waist on each side of spinal column. Each kidney is composed of millions of functional units called nephrons. Each nephron consists of a glomerulus, which is a tuft of capillaries, invaginated into epithelial sac called Bausman capsule from which arises a tubule. Disease of kidney, glomerular nephritis, nephrotic syndrome, acute renal failure, chronic renal failure. Finally, it leads to the stage called dialysis. First of all, we are going to discuss about glomerular nephritis. It is an inflammatory process affecting the glomeruli, a small blood vessel in the head of nephron. It is most common in its acute form in children from 3 to 10 years of age. Although it can also occur in adult past age of 50. Symptoms like hematuria and proteinuria are observed. Dietary management, normal energy, adequate protein, low fat, restricted salt and fluid is recommended. Nephrotic syndrome. It is, can be caused due to progressive glomerular nephritis, diabetes mellitus, amyloidosis, resulting due to drugs, heavy metals and toxic venom. Symptoms like proteinuria, edema, hypoalbuminia was observed. Dietary management. Restricted protein, high carbohydrate, restricted salt, moderate fat is recommended. Acute renal failure. There is a sudden shutdown of renal function following metabolic insult or traumatic injury or to the normal kidneys. There is high mortality and the condition need a medical emergency in which nutritionist play a supporting role. Causes. Loss of blood flow to the kidney during accident, ulcer, loss of plasma in burns, loss of fluid in diarrhea, various infections, nephrotoxins like paracetamol. Symptoms. Symptoms like loss of urine volume, excretion of potassium is observed. Symptoms. Loss of urine volume, excretion of potassium was observed. Dietary management. High calorie, low protein, normal carbohydrate, restricted fluid and Sodium is recommended. Chronic renal failure. It is also known as uremia as the level of urine in the blood is very high. It may be the end result of acute glomerular nephritis, phenyl nephritis and nephrotic syndrome. Causes. Chronic infection of the urinary tract, kidney stones, high blood pressure, infection, diabetes mellitus especially type 1. <coughs> Symptoms like dehydration, Neurological system, skin changes was observed. Dietary management. Adequate calories should be given. Low protein, low fluid, low sodium and low potassium should be strictly followed in this type of patient. The dialysis. Kidney dialysis is a procedure that is a substitute for many of the normal functions of the kidney. Dialysis allow people with kidney failure a chance to live productive life. When kidney function decreases to a critical level or complication arises, a person may need to start dialysis. There are two main types of dialysis. First one is hemodialysis and second one is peritoneal dialysis. Dietary management. Energy 35 kilocalories per kg body weight. Protein 1.2 to 1.5 gram per kg body weight. Sodium 2 to 3 gram per day or no salt added food is recommended. Potassium 2 to 3 gram per day is recommended allowed <clears throat> fluid 1000 ml per day is strictly followed phosphorus uh, like 1200 to 1600 milligram is recommended thank you